Hi everyone, I want to show you a feature on Apple Keynote that allows you to add live video into your presentation so people can see what's actually happening live from a camera such as this camera here or perhaps even from my iPad or even from my iPhone so you can see what's going on on the screen there. And you might think, well, why do you want to add a camera? Because people can see you. Well, you might want to show something close up during a presentation. And for that, you've got a camera like this. It could be something like a GoPro and so on. And basically, I've connected it with something here. It's an adapter, HDMI adapter, called a CamLink. And I've got a video showing you how this connects up. They're reasonably priced, but there are others as well. And it allows you to pretty much connect any sort of camera so that you can use it kind of like a webcam. So this does have the FaceTime HD camera, but for a presentation, people can see me anyway, unless maybe I wanted to use that camera and hold something up to that. And we're gonna take a look at how to do that. Now, this also works on Keynote for the iPad and the iPhone, and you can use either the front or the back camera. And if you've got more than one back camera, you can choose those as well. You can't connect another camera, well not yet anyway. And I'm gonna show you quickly how you do that on using the iPad, which works in the same way as it does on the iPhone as well. But first I'm gonna show you how it works on the desktop version. And here I actually have a presentation and what I'm gonna do is add in a blank slide and I'm going to show you how you can add a source in there. So this could be this camera or it could be the iPad that I've got connected here. So let's just add a slide, let's just add a blank one. I'm going to add media. So I'm gonna to go to this media button up at the top here and I'm gonna choose live video. So let's just choose that. And there you are, you can see me straight away. It's picking up the FaceTime HD camera. I can choose a style for it. You can see on the right hand side and it can tell you borders, thickness of the border, shadows, or you can come below it and just choose whichever ones you want. So if I want to, I can add a dropped shadow. Maybe I can add a curved shadow here and so on. And you can see I can adjust the offset so you can see just how much it's got. I could do something nice like add a reflection in. And maybe I just want to drop the opacity a bit, but actually I don't think that's necessary. I could add a title to the top and I could fill that in and I could have a caption as well, which is down the bottom here. And then I can just type something in there such as Gary's demo. Okay, and same at the top here. Let's just put in demo here. Now, I don't necessarily want to keep those. So if I want to, I can just switch them on and off and it has remembered what's in there. So. Let's just turn those off for the moment. Now, what I'm really interested in here is the live video. So if I go into live video, you'll see the source here, it's got default camera. Let's just keep it there for a moment. I can move this around. I can resize. And as you can see, I can do the scale here as well. So that's actually zooming in the camera. So it's like a zoom control. It's not scaling this box it's scaling what the camera is seeing. So I could zoom in like that. It's 16 by nine, that's widescreen. I could change it to something else if I want, if it feels a bit more appropriate. I could also choose whether I want square mask, circle, or custom. And with that, I can just click and drag this to make a change to the scale. I can make the corners more rounded, I can either type in a number, say like 20, and you'll see you've got more rounded edges there, just makes it look a little bit nicer. So there we go. That's how you can make an adjustment. But I'm going to do something here. I actually want two live videos because I want to show you what's happening on Keynote here. And I want you to see what I'm doing as well as I move around. So I can actually have two live videos on here. So the first thing I'm going to do, is just click on done. Let's move this over here. Let's maybe make that a bit smaller and you can see it's just resizing and the shape of it is changing as well. 
I'm going to add in another source. So let's go back to media, live video, and let's just resize that for a moment. There we go. And I am going to change the source. And if I click here where it's got default camera, there's a little arrow and I can click on the plus sign and I'm going to choose a new source. I'm going to type in iPad. From this drop down, there is my iPad. Now the iPad is connected by a cable. It's the cable that came with it that connects onto the computer. Same thing with the iPhone as well. You just use your lightning connector or if you're using USB-C now, you would use that and it connects in very simply. I didn't have to change any settings. So let's choose that. There you are. You can now see what I'm doing here on this screen. So I could add in a web video or something like that. Let's just cancel that for the moment because we're going to come back to that but you can see what is going on on the screen here and I can move backwards and forwards and it works pretty much seamlessly. Let's click on add. Let's change the size of it. That doesn't look right. Device portrait, let's change it to device landscape. Let's put that over here. Now I want to see what I'm doing here so you can see actually what I'm doing with my fingers or with a pencil or whatever. Over here on this one, I'm going to change it to this camera here, which is the Canon camera. So let's just change that to Canon camera. It doesn't have to be a Canon camera. And it's connected using that little gadget that I just showed you a moment ago, this CamLink 4K. Very popular, but there are others as well. I did try this using the GoPro and the built-in webcam facility you can download to do that. I've got a video on how to do that. And it wouldn't recognize it here. Now, I don't know if there's more to this, but I do know that these little devices do work. So let me choose that. These are great for things like live streaming and so on. And there you go, you can see it's got it nicely there. So you can see I'm moving it around. I'm gonna switch the autofocus off on that, I think, so you don't see it all moving. So now you can see this screen here, that's the camera, off at a bit of an angle. I did this so that you could actually see the camera in here. And also here is my presentation. So I can swipe up here, you can now see what I'm actually doing and you can see it changing on both screens. That's pretty neat. So I can go back to that one here. Now the other thing that you could do is you could have another slide and that slide could have one source and then another slide could have two sources or one source and so on. So when you play it, it can switch backwards and forwards. So let's add in another slide. Let's do this one, let's go blank again. Going to media, going live video. I'm gonna choose the Canon source. And by the way, you've got another option here, if I do click on this, you've got arrange, which allows you to sort out alignment, the size, constrained pro proportions, so when you make it bigger and smaller, it keeps the same aspect ratio. You can change the position exactly as you want here by actually just changing these values and you can see them moving around and I could just type that in as well and it would go to the right spot. You can rotate it and so on. Let's, let's leave it there, let's go, let's just type it in, let's go to zero. You can flip it and you could also flip it that way as well. You could also, if you had other elements on the screen, push it to the back front or backwards or forwards a layer as well. So there you have it. I've got now that slide and that slide. So if I press play, it will now go to the different slides with the different sources. As you can see, really easy to do. If you were doing a demonstration in front of an audience, this could prove to be really, really useful. And you can do the same here with the iPad. I'm just gonna show you that in a moment. So one thing I thought that would be useful is with Keynote Live. That's where you can share your presentation with people online and then they can see your presentation as you use it on your desktop. And I thought this would be really good to put a live video in and then people could see what you were doing from a distance. But I couldn't get it to work. It just came up as a blank slide. So it's probably not something you can do. So anyway, that's just one little caveat to that. So there you have it. This is really useful to do. I'm now gonna show you how you can do this with the iPad. 
Okay, so here I am with the iPad, and as I said, this will work with the iPhone as well. So what I'm gonna do is just add in a new slide by just tapping at the bottom here. Let's go for a blank slide. And I'm now going to tap on the plus at the top here, and you'll see it's got live video. Just gonna tap on that, and there you have it. It's got it right here, and there you are, you can see me. But I tell you what I'm gonna do, I'm going to change it. And the way to change it on here is to click on this, what looks like paintbrush at the top. Let me tap on that and I can change my default camera. I'm gonna add a source. Source name, I'm gonna call it back, which is the back camera. Press enter and I'm going to flip it. So now you can see the keyboard on my Mac. Let's keep that one there. Now, if you've got an iPhone and you've got other cameras on the back of it, some have one, two, or even three, and they have different zoom ratios there. You could choose one of those. So I'm going to click on add, and there it is, it's in there. I can do exactly what I did before. I can move it around, I can resize. But in the top left-hand corner, can you see it's got a dot that's a different color? If I tap and drag on that, that's how I do the radius on here. Can you see that's actually changed the shape of it? Just like I did with the desktop version, I can add in other videos as well, other video sources. So I could have like different back cameras if I wanted to zoom, have one wide and one zoomed in, or maybe one on me and one on one of the back cameras as well. So there are various options you can have, and I could do exactly what I did before and actually have different slides with different sources in there as well. So that's how it works. If you just tap on play here, you can see it. It's quite interesting with this oval shape in here. So that is how you can add live video into Keynote, whether you're using it on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you do like this, please do like, share, and subscribe, and come back for more. Thanks for watching.